The fine folks over at British Drone Industries are clearly fed up of watching me carry around my FPV goggles in little red Santa sacks like this. So they've sent me over these, a set of their new Lux goggles bags. Now in this video I'm going to give you a bit of an overview of what these bags are all about. Now just to be clear, they did send me these bags for free, however I've not been paid to make this video, it's not going to really be a review, more than anything I felt it's the right thing to do to show you what they have to offer considering they did send them to me for free. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's take a look at what these are all about. Now if you don't know who BDI are, they are the company that make the Digi Adapter 2. This is the adapter faceplate that fits on the DJI goggles version 1 or version 2 that allows you to plug in an analog module. Now I will talk about this in a future video because they have sent me one of these as well. However today I want to concentrate on these two bags. Now this isn't going to be a review, it is just really a bit of a product overview or a showcase. To be 100% clear, they sent me these for free. They've watched me talk about FPV goggles on the channel, they've seen me with lots of different goggles and lots of different cases, and they said, hey, would you be interested in checking out our bags? Now, what we have is two separate bags. We have the BDI Lux Mini, bag which is specifically designed for smaller goggles including these, the DJI FPV goggles too. And then we have the full size bag which is designed for larger goggles such as these, the DJI goggles V2. Now we'll concentrate on the smaller one first of all. This is designed for smaller goggles, specifically like the goggles too, but it is big enough to hold other things as well, including the DJI FPV remote controller. So if you wanted to have the FPV remote in something nice and soft and a bit of protective, you could do that too. Now, the idea of these bags is to obviously offer some protection for your goggles, but also make carrying them a little bit easier. They're not hard cases, they are soft bags. They are are nicely nylon type material on the outside and then on the inside when I rotate it you'll see that they have this super soft fear lining inside to ensure that anything that you do put in is not going to get scratched, it's not going to get damaged and it's going to be looking after it as best as it can. Now as I've said this bag is designed for smaller style goggles such as the goggles too. So for instance if I just pop that in there you can see that it easily holds the goggles too. There's some pull tags there that zip it up and then there is a pocket on the front which is zippable so we can zip that up if we wanted to or we can unzip it and that is then used for holding your cables or even your battery to go with the goggles too. It's a deep pocket that goes all the way down the front so for instance I can put in there the power cable for these goggles or I could just keep other stuff in there if I wanted to. The nice thing about these bags is that they do have these two strings that you can hold it up with. Now it's not going to offer physical protection in the sense of drop proof protection but it's going to offer a nice amount if you're carrying these in your backpack or if you're putting them in another bag and it just offers some additional protection than you would get just having the goggles out on their own. Now a question I did have about this bag is would it hold these, the HD Zero goggles? Now I've currently got the VRX module on the front from Walk Snail, and what we'll do is we'll pop that in and give it a try. You're definitely going to want to remove the walk snail antennas if you're going to try it with both. But as you can see, it will go in with the HD Zero goggles with that avatar module on the front. Let me just pop the strap in, and then we could just pop the antennas in there as well and that will fit no problem at all. You can leave on the HD Zero antennas, there's no problem with those ones. The only ones you would have to remove is the Avatar ones simply because they stick up so high on the top. Now the second and larger bag which I've got here is designed as I've already said for goggles like this, the DJI FPV goggles version 1 or version 2s. Now another nice thing with the larger bag is that it does come with a couple of lens cleaning cloths as well included in the pack. 
Now, size-wise, this bag is a lot larger. Again, it is very much the same as the other bag with regards to its lining. So if I turn it inside out, you can see it's got that really nice soft fur lining inside. And again, if I just flip it back, it's still got that pocket on the front for storing additional items as well. So in here, you can store your cables or anything else or including our lens cleaning cloths too. Now, if I just drop in the goggles, I do have the top antennas removed on these at the moment, but it would fit in there with the top antennas, no problem at all. And again, just like the smaller bag, it offers a nice amount of protection if you're carrying the goggles, whether you want to be able to carry them by hand with this strap here or put them in another backpack or another bag. And it just keeps everything nice, dust free and offers that little bit of additional protection too. Now price wise these bags are available for about $18 for the mini bag and $19 for the full size in the US and if you're in the UK you can get them for between £19 and £20. They're both priced at £19 at Drone Authority. The pricing does vary depending a little bit on the dealer however overall you're looking under 20 quid on each one. Overall, that is pretty much it from me on this one. Again, I want to say a massive thank you from me to the guys and girls over at British Drone Industries. I really do appreciate the kind gift and I can promise you they will get good use. Rather than there being some homeless looking fat bloke walking around with a tiny Santa sack, now at least it will be a man that looks like he knows what he's doing. Looks though can be deceiving and we should always remember that. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.